I'm gonna cover really quick how to program the Akai MPK-49. This also works exactly the same for the Akai MPK-249, the later version of that. So what we wanna do is, I have a preset already set up for Logic ES1, but I'm gonna go through it with you step by step so you know exactly how to program this thing. So what you wanna do is, is you go to the edit button and you click edit. Then what you can do is you can select either a knob, right? As we go through all the different knobs, go through a slider, move over. You can see how F1, F2, see how it says F1, watch out for my light, F1, F2, F3, and then down below you have the buttons and you can set those up. So the way you do that is, is you make sure that this is set up for control change. You can also have it do after touch. So we're going to go ahead and hit this button to enter. And then what you get now is, is that you get what we're doing here is for right now K1. So when I press that, you'll see that we're on MIDI channel 1B. If I go to this button here, then I can go ahead and select any MIDI channel 1B through 16B. And I can also do 16A through 1B or vice versa. I found from my own experiments that A's didn't really work that well. Um, seemed to only work for one knob or something at a time. I'm not really sure why I didn't really spend too much time looking at that. Once I found the B's worked fine, I just stuck with that. Move this over here, and then you can make that CC anything you want. We'll do 11 just so that K1 is equal to 11. Hit enter. Now I can go over here to K2, hit, hit the enter button here. It says 12, so I'm just going to confirm with you all that I'm doing 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, because I like to not have to think too much about what I'm doing. So K8 is 18, K7 is 17, and so forth. So hopefully that makes sense to you, makes sense to me. So 3 is 13 and trust me when I say it goes all the way there. So we're gonna hit enter and then I'm going to move this fader here, F1, and you're gonna see that indeed when I hit control change, F1 is 13. And so that one doesn't quite make as much sense, but if you get a little further on, let's see what happens if I hit F8. We're at F8 here, whoop, bumped something, F8, move it, go to F8 here, hit enter, and it's 27. So it's not really working out that as simple as the knobs did, but you can figure it out and decide for yourself what you think works the best. I mapped out a lot of the like filter cutoff, resonance, and those kind of things to the knobs and then to the sliders. I did stuff like attack, decay, sustain, and release. So that'll be for another tutorial. So to finish up, you can also select a knob. If you are here and I push S1, that's a little button. And in the ES1, I use that to do um, the chorus. So that's all you have to do.